What's up everyone, this is Sabrinad, and today I have a special opening for you guys, kind of a random opening too, because today I'm going to open up a Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5 Volume 4 manga, which of course includes a promo card, as well as uh, both of these new Yu-Gi-Oh! figures that have been released. So, yeah, evidently these figures are made by a company called uh, Totaku, I think I'm saying that correctly, but I know they've made a ton of different figures too, like through different series, because I've seen some Crash Bandicoot figures, I think they've made some God of War figures as well, and I think there's even like a Master Chief figure too they're coming out with, so it's like for all kinds of different games and all kinds of stuff, so it looks like they actually came out with some Yu-Gi-Oh figures, and I've known about these since, uh, I think it was like this summer I pre-ordered them, I, I think they're exclusive to GameStop as well in case people are wondering, because that's where I always see these figures, and if I'm not mistaken, it actually said that on the website, so uh, I'll double check myself and everything too, and I'll have a link to them, by the way, it's not sponsored by GameStop, I mean I bought these, I pre-ordered them, like I said, I think in June, uh, but they kept getting pushed back on the release date. I think they were supposed to come out in August, and now supposedly they're out. And I know uh, John from House of Champs, he also said that he saw them at uh, GameStop the other day. So they should be out everywhere now, I think so. But anyway, I wanted to get these because, I mean, seriously, look at that Summon Skull. That looks amazing. I was wondering how he would look on this. And at first I was like, that's kind of an odd choice, Blue Eyes and Summon Skull instead of Dark Magician. But I'm really happy they went with him, because that looks really cool. And then, of course, Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is kind of a similar pose we've seen him in several times. But it's Blue Eyes. You gotta get it. I mean, it's really that simple. So, yeah, I bought one of each of these. I'm probably going to get another set, because I want to keep a set of them sealed. And then, obviously, you know what channel you're on. I gotta open them. So, let's get to it. I'm going to go with Blue Eyes first. Also, I guess this makes it so you guys <laughs> don't have to open yours if you don't want to, right? Maybe that can help you. But yeah, I'm going to have more than one set of these. But I want to put these on my shelf, opened and everything, too. Oh, yeah, and I don't know if I showed this. Here's a little write-up, by the way. I thought that was kind of cool. It's, it's stuff we know. I mean, obviously, this is Kaiba's ace monster and all that. That's basically what it says. But it's still kind of cool, so if you wanted to, you could pause and uh, read that. I'm not going to read the whole thing because, like I said, it's uh, pretty obvious. <laughs> we all know what's going on. But the nostalgia is definitely there. So yeah, here we go. Here's Blue Eyes White Dragon. Focus in. And uh, even there's like hieroglyphics where he's standing. Maybe he was summoned from one of the tablets. I guess that is true. That goes with the lore. But that looks really awesome too. He's kind of simple though in his design on this. I'm, I'm kind of surprised because Summon Skull looks like he's been like dry brushed and, and all kinds of stuff. But I gotta say, this Blue Eyes looks really cool. Uh, again, I mean, you're going to see a Blue Eyes figure. You're telling me you're not going to get that? Come on. <laughs> it's one of those figures you always got to get. I really hope we see more of these in the future, too. I want to see a Dark Magician. I want to see Red Eyes. And then I really want them to start moving on to GX on some stuff, too, because I want all the Elemental Heroes like this. I, I Seriously, Totaku, I'm telling you right now, you make all the Elemental Heroes, I will buy them. Literally, you make all of them, I will buy all of them. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I know I'm going to have a problem if they do this. I mean, it's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh! Amiibo. Kind of. <laughs> Except they don't have any kind of function, by the way, either. They're just statues. They don't work with any games or anything. I wish. Now, that would be cool if they really were like Amiibo. But uh, they're not. So, just so you guys know that. Oh, yeah. And again, I don't know if I showed this. Here's the write-up, in case you guys want to see it. There you go. Of course, you know, it's Yugi's monster. <laughs> Obviously. Again, it's stuff you guys know. That's why I'm not taking the time to read it. Okay, so here's Summon Skull. Feel focus in. There we go. Summon Skull, again, looks awesome. I, I really think if you can only get one of these, go for this one. Because I love the way he looks. He actually looks almost like, a, I don't know, a little bit darker than even the the card itself, the image, you know? Like, Summon Skull really does look evil. He looks like something from Diablo or, <laughs> or something like that, you know? And uh, that looks amazing. I mean, seriously, this figure does look cool. And again, I like how he's, like, dry brushed as well with some black. Kind of give him that, you know, that bone kind of look to the, to him, actually. So that, that's pretty cool. I, I gotta say, again, I'm definitely going to get more of these. I just have a couple of them sealed, and then, obviously, you gotta have some of these on display. So that's cool. And then, of course, we have the manga, which, this is out now as well. Uh, check out your local bookstore. Make sure, though, it does say card inside and that it's sealed in plastic, so you know you're getting the card, okay? Because you, people can steal the card obviously. So make sure. I got this one from uh, Amazon, and that's what I usually get them from, because that way you know you're getting the card. You know it's all good then. 
But, and also I think they had them on sale. I think it's like $7 instead of 10 now. So check that out. It was the last time I ordered this, which I didn't order it that long ago because I kind of forgot. <laughs> but yeah, it might still be on sale. I'll try to remember to have a link, you know, for you guys. There we go. So got it out of here. I think the card, yeah, just right at the front, which they always kind of stick it there. There we go. So yeah, it is a White Aura Bahamut. It is a level 10 water synchro monster fish synchro, I should say. So that's kind of interesting. We really haven't seen, I don't think, a fish card in a while. Anyway, uh, 3,300 attack and 3,000 defense. And uh, let me read off its effect and everything too so you guys can see it. I think you can see it if I zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it requires one tuner synchro monster and one non-tuner uh, monsters as well to synchro summon into it. Anyway, uh, its effect is uh, during your turn when this card is synchro summoned, you can uh, special summon one divine dragon token, fish water, level 10, uh, 3,300 attack, and 3,000 defense in defense position. Once per opponent's turn, while you control no tokens, quick effect, you can special summon one divine dragon token. If this card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, while you control a divine uh, dragon token, you can special summon this card in defense position. So yeah, basically from this, you get token monsters that are, are exactly like this. I mean, same level, same attack, that 3,300 attack and all that too, and 3,000 defense as well. And then also, if it happens to get destroyed and you still have a token, it can revive itself. So it's actually a pretty scary synchro monster. Remember too, getting tokens, especially these days with Link summoning everything too, that's pretty dang good. So yeah, I do recommend getting this manga because this card I think is definitely worth picking up. And uh, besides, the story that's going on with this series, too, is good. I always like the manga anyway because it's a little bit darker in most cases, and the story is different from the show. So definitely recommend checking it out. And again, I ordered mine from Amazon. You guys can go with that, too, or just any kind of local bookstore that you want to support. So really cool, and I, I think you definitely need to get that card. But uh, yeah, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, just something kind of random. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh products that I thought I would just kind of uh, throw in a video together. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, I'll try to remember to have links to everything in the description. And uh, I really do recommend, though, if you can find this Summon Skull, seriously. I mean, I, I think that is awesome looking. If I can just get it to focus. It does not want to focus on my camera. But I really recommend picking this up because it is amazing. Uh, like, even using this with, like, any kind of game that involves figures, I think would be cool. Hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss out on future content. Have a lot of big openings planned for you guys too. Uh, that includes a lot of stuff you guys have been requesting. So yeah, <laughs> quite a few things. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.